Hey everybody and welcome to this short tutorial on grief prevention. This is going to be a very basic tutorial on how to use grief prevention, just how to, the very basics, how to claim, how to expand, and how to see borders. So uh, I'm Vice Bishop and we're just going to get right into it. So first off, the one thing most servers have is they have like this initial chest claim on. This is just basic. This is the first chest you ever place down on any server. Everyone has this. Uh, you can People can disable it so it might not be enabled, but basically you take this chest you find a house that you like, ah, oh, this one's great, you know, no one's living here. You place it down, and it should protect a nearby area. So it protects this little area nearby, it'll show you the little borders and whatnot. So this area is now yours. Um, so that is one way to start a claim, and most servers start with a chest, so you just place down a chest and then you expand from there. Um, or you can choose a golden shovel, which is also given to most people and servers that have this plugin. And then using that gold shovel, instead of placing on the chest you would just click two corners all right so with the chest we've claimed this uh with the shovel there's another way to claim with the shovel you basically click down here and say and then you go to another corner you just click it and if you get the too small claim that corner is still active so you actually just need to go farther and click like that so then that's another way to start a claim and initialize it uh and another and then if you wanted to unclaim like say you click down on this and then you didn't want that one you just put the shovel away and then bring it back out that might still be there but that blog doesn't actually exist and you would just click somewhere else and restart uh, and to review these claims that you have claimed before previously you just bring out a stick right click the zone and it'll give you the borders of that and say you don't want this claim anymore just type unclaim slash unclaim and it abandons the claim for you and it'll tell you how many blocks you have available uh, so now again with this claim, we're going to go ahead and expand this claim, which is extremely simple. All you're going to do is take out your golden shovel, go to one of the corners that you want to expand. Say if I want to go this way and that way or just this way, I'd right click this corner and I would right click over here just like that. And now I have a larger claim. And uh, that's actually about it. That's the extremely the basics of grief prevention. If you end up stuck inside someone else's claim, you can open doors. Or no, you can't open doors on other people's claims. Say you're stuck in someone's claim. You would just type in trapped. Well, I can build here so it would save myself. But basically, you would just be teleported to the edge of the claim somewhere. Like, say, it'd probably teleport you here and you'd, you'd be untrapped. So yeah, that's the very basics of grief prevention. I hope this helped you out a bit. Uh, and we're going to continue on with a little bit more in-depth things. And the more in-depth stuff is just to do with trusting people and whatnot. All right, so I've got my friend over here, Vice Rice Europe. That's me. Uh... Uh, and he he wants to help me build in my claim so basically what I'm gonna do is to to trust him to trust my friend here what you would do is type slash trust and you normally put his name in there but say you don't want him to do everything you just want him to be able to open containers or open doors so to open containers you just you tell him container you do a slash container trust vice versa here oh Vice versa, and that should give it to him. For some reason, it says it's not a command, but it is. And now he should be able to open containers and any an and animals, I guess, as donkeys. So he should be able to open any sort of like chests and whatnot in your claim. But he won't be able to build or whatnot. Uh, so if you want him to be able to open doors and stuff, you can also do access trust. Vice versa, syrup. Spelt, spelt my own name wrong. And that should give him access to buttons, levers, doors, and everything. And he'll be able to open that. But he still won't be able to build. Um, but let's say, let's say that's all you want. And you want to see who has trust in your land. You do slash trust list. And you're like, okay. He now has build access. Or access but he no longer has container access. Because container access is above just regular access. So basically, this is how the accesses go. If you just trust someone... You'll see that and he's now a builder, a build access. And so he should have all of these previous ones as well now. Uh, if you give, if in, and if you really trust someone to also manage your land with it, you give them permission trust. And now that's basically, this claim is their claim in a sense now. Um, when, you, when you trust someone, if you give them access trust, as you can see here, I, I went on the other account and did it. If you give someone access trust and permission trust, they can give anyone access trust. Um, if you have build trust or containers trust, and then that person can also give them those as well. 
And basically these are the tiers of trusts. Build is the highest, container is the second, and access is just the lowest tier. And if you give them the managed one, they can only manage, they can only give other people the same permission you gave them. That's a way to trust your friends and have them also manage your claim with you. So now say basically say you want to subdivide a claim. So take out your shovel and then type slash subdivide claims. And then you can you can click anywhere in your claim and make a subdivision. And now this is like a smaller portion of your claim. And you can use this portion and say like, I don't want my friend to build out here, but this is his little property. So now I can just trust him to our, yeah, I'll just trust him in here. And now he has permission to build here, but not over here. So it's a way to give, it's a way that say you have a huge claim land and you want to like rent people stuff. You can rent like a property of land to people or like you can build houses and rent them to people. And yeah, so that's how that works. So th that's a, that's the basic overall part of grief prevention that shows you how to, that's how you subdivide claims and trust your friends so they can only build in there, but they can't build in here. Like you could do trust list here. He can do that. But if you do trust list here, he's now a builder. So that's how you do that. We'll show the claim list again with the stick. Also, if you the server if your server has it enabled, you can also buy and sell claim blocks. And with our server, you can. And to do that, you basically just hit buy claim blocks, and then you put in an amount like I think ours are twenty dollars is one. So if I buy five, it's a hundred dollars. And now I get an extra hundred claim blocks. And if I want, I can sell those back. Maybe not for the same amount, but for half of that, and I'll get I'll get fifty bucks. So you can sell and buy claim blocks on the server just using those commands. Just buy claim blocks, any number, and then sell the claim blocks with any number. So yeah, that's that's a basic overall thing of grief prevention with a little bit of in-depth on how to trust your claims, subdivide your claims with for your friends. And yeah, that's I hope this helped you out with grief prevention and shows you a little bit more on what it's useful for and how you can use it. It just helps you basically protect your stuff against uh, people you don't know in multiplayer servers, which is why we have it. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you like what you saw, subscribe, like, do whatever you want. I don't care, actually. This is more just less for you guys to help you guys. So I hope it helped. If it did help, let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.